Lady. Oh, shit. That's not good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Prepper Dave, and this is Welcome to the Apocalypse. Things are going from bad to f that real fast. It looks to me like this is a good time to bug out. Head for the hills, f this place. bugging out. Who's we? My, my friends from YouTube. But dinner's ready. I'm bugging out. I'm a, I'm eat birds and fungus and sh**. I made meatloaf. I like meatloaf. Never gonna do nothing. Change of plans. I really like meatloaf. Looks like I may try to wait out the uncertainty for a bit longer before deciding to punt. Where was I? Oh yeah, society is falling apart. Protests, riots, plague, all that bullshit. Or just as things are getting dangerous, folks are continuing to parrot the defund the police mantra. At the same time, continuing the guns are bad narrative. That. What the fuck? Get rid of cops and ban guns? Hey kids, can you say go f yourselves? That ain't gonna happen. Violent crime is spiking sharply in the big cities, and the cityots are learning they are on their own. All the rainbow farting unicorns in the world won't save their unprepared asses when the shit hits the fan. I believe all the bullshit they're pushing is being done with good intentions, but I ain't buying it. The road to the morgue is paved with good intentions. They have been voting for and pushing the we don't need guns because we have cops agenda for years. And now for fear of sounding insensitive, they want the cops to go away. These are the same virtue signaling dingbats who spend all day in the Twitter circle jerk whining about 30 round magazines and machine guns. And now they're secretly texting their gun owning friends on the download asking for advice on firearms purchases. More and more, people are deciding it's time to strap up. You know who you are, and don't act like you're not. But don't worry, we won't rat you out. You won't lose your standing with the twat not mafia. You can safely attend the spoken word night at your favorite vegan bistro without fear of being ostracized. Hell, I will even post some links for YouTube channels that specialize in information about purchasing firearms in the description below. As I've said before, make sure after you purchase that gun, you spend some time on the range, getting to know how to safely handle your new gun. Even the most well-disciplined military forces in the world can fall victim to the dreaded negligent discharge when the basic rules of firearm handling are ignored. After you find the right firearm and you spend some time getting familiar with basic gun safety and basic manipulations, you need to become familiar with the legal concepts of self-defense. Failure to do so may land your ass in a prison cell. I can hear it now. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. While that's mostly true, I wouldn't want to be judged by 12 because I used poor judgment and put a bullet in some kid's head and have them be the one that's carried by six. I'm not a lawyer and this isn't legal advice, but let me give you a couple of scenarios. Scenario one. There's an unfamiliar teenager on my lawn. Nope. Not self-defense. As a middle-aged white dude, I know how this gets me amped up, but still not self-defense. Scenario two. That bitch took my parking spot. Find another parking spot and move on. Just leave it alone. Carrying a firearm shouldn't embolden you to want to throw down with some random chucklehead who pisses you off. Having that firearm should make you the one who backs away from the confrontation. Scenario number three. What if I'm in the club and some vato wants to dance with my 
Nope. Still not self-defense. And there's a lot wrong with this scenario. If you're carrying a firearm, you might want to avoid situations where the alcohol is flowing and the fellas are all pumped up on liquid courage. Put down that white claw and walk away, my friend. Scenario number four. There's a crackhead with an axe breaking down my door. Now you may be on to something. Strap up, sucker. Am I saying now you can shoot? Nope. I'm saying now there is a threat present, and you may explore that option. In the event you have to use that Glock and defend your castle, and you followed the law to the letter, you're covered, right? Wrong. This is America, and you still have to battle the court of public opinion. The media will twist and warp the story and make you look like a villain. The crowds will get all riled up by a post of half-truths they see on Facebook and will put you through the ringer. The DA will do whatever they have to do to ensure they have voter support, regardless of what it does to you. Your decision to own a firearm and exercise your Second Amendment rights will burden you with extra responsibilities. Contrary to the media views that everyone who buys a firearm wants to go out and play cowboy. It's quite the opposite. Carrying a firearm makes you the guy who has to back down from a fight. Carrying a firearm should make you want to be the one to blend in and not stand out. The gray man theory. You will have to make life and death decisions and you will have to deal with the consequences. In the bottom right hand corner, my left hand, you will see a red box that says subscribe or die. Click that box to become a subscriber. Go on, click it. You most assuredly will not get put on a government watch list of dangerous badasses if you subscribe. Speaking of badasses, if you want to look like a badass and support the show at the same time, you can pick up one of these badass t-shirts at www. Everything's www these days. How about I just say at PrepperDaveWTTA.com. We have, let's see, what do we got? We got the hashtag Fayfo shirts. F around and find out. We got the I Melt Snowflakes. We got the WTTA Welcome to the Apocalypse official t-shirt. We even got the brand new don't die on me. All my social media is listed below until Valhalla. Fucking gnats are driving me crazy! Fuck.